Hey y'all, it's Trawick Ellis here. I just thought I'd do a little bit of an overview on the newest addition to my fish room. So this is the Lemon Cichlid, or the Leilupi Cichlid, also known as the Neolamprologus Leilupi. It's a dwarf cichlid, maxing out at around three to four inches, so it, it stays relatively small, but despite their small size, you need a relatively big tank to keep a group of these guys because they are aggressive towards each other. As you can see in these videos, when they kind of flare their gills and chase each other around, they are pretty territorial. So I have seven in this 29 gallon tank right now, which is much more than I'm going to keep long term. Since they are just juveniles, they haven't started breeding and pairing off yet. Once they do start breeding and pairing off, then I'm going to remove at least three of them and put them in my 75 gallon tank that's also has dwarf African cichlids in it so they'll get along. I do plan to keep try to keep two pairs in this 29 gallon tank. We'll see how long that lasts or if it lasts. As you can see there are lots of cracks and caves and crevices in the rocks that kind of emulates their natural environment. They would live in rock piles in Lake Tanganyika which is in Africa. Because of that they come from that lake they like hard water, high pH. I'm using aragonite sand and crushed coral as a part of the substrate to help keep the, the pH up and buffer the water. Anywhere from seven and a half upwards of closer to even 10 on the pH scale is ideal for these guys. And they like warm water, so they do best with a heater. 75 to 82 degrees water temp is ideal. And like I said, they are pretty aggressive. So if you're keeping a community tank of African cichlids or a smaller tank, try just one pair of these guys. They should breed if they have enough cover to hide in. And as you can see, they're very colorful and very active and very fun to watch. So yeah, that's my little overview of the lemon cichlid. I do plan to do more of these as I get new fish in and expand my knowledge of fish keeping. So be sure to like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff so that you can make sure to see it again next time as I post another video of the newest fish in my fish room. Thanks for watching and have a great day.